Hey Fox, so this is our lead code question number 55, the jump game. So let's read it. Given an array, no negative integers, you are initially positioned at first index of the array. Each element in the array represents your maximum jump length at the position. Determine if you are able to reach the last index. So what we have to do in this basically is, if we have given an array like to element in the array is the number of jump we can take from this position so we have to tell if we can reach from this position to the last position by any means okay so what we can do is from the first uh, element we can go at maximum here and from this element uh, we can have maximum jump of four we need only one to get to the last element so uh, this is our true case okay so or we can have a array of something like 3 2 1 0 or something anything like 9 okay so what is a uh, difference in this case in this case if we see we can go up to here or from the second element we can go up to here or from the first element we can go up to here so we uh, by any means we can't get to the last element so this is uh, the case of a false statement okay so what we can do is so what we can do is there are two approaches we can take first is the normal approach in which we can in which we can keep a local variable that is maximum reach okay or and we can say it initially zero then we can say uh, for i from zero to n uh, zero to n minus one where i am supposed uh, where i am supposing n to be the number of uh, elements in our vector that is number of i okay so we will take this and if our maximum reach if our maximum reach is less than n we will return false enter else we will return true Uh, so this is not any particular language I'm writing right now I'm just explaining it to you guys so uh, don't uh, just understand what I'm trying to say also what is i plus nums i this is the maximum jump one can take from any index like if we are one so we can go how much uh, length can we go we can go from i to i plus one so that is zero uh zero plus uh, the element that is three so one zero one two three so we can go up to three okay so if we are at uh, the first element where we can go we can go from one plus two or we can have a uh, different approach that can be we uh, we go from the last element and see if that works fine okay so let's look at that also two zero three five one okay so from the uh, last of the array it can, if we start from the last of the array and go uh, to each element one by one and check if it is possible to reach out to that array then this uh, condition will be all, also true and this is our greedy approach okay so 
let's see now what will the code for it so let's see the code for it so uh, we have taken uh, an arbitrary integer uh, variable integer last that is nums of size minus one then we have iterated a loop from uh, last index to the first index and we have said if the if we can reach to that index then uh, if we can reach to the last index then uh, when our loop stops if the last element is equal to zero then it is a true statement and if it is not equals to zero then it is a false statement okay so let's check uh, so if this code works fine or not so our code get accepted so yes